you want something from me? I don't know about that. I just want to know a little more about you, Rina. Oh, I see how it is. You stroll up acting like we're gonna have a friendly chat, but really you're just trying to get inside my head? Huh? No. I didn't mean anything like that. Really, I just... It's not gonna be that easy, Yuma. If you think you can learn all my secrets that way, you've got another thing coming. What? What do you mean? If you really want to know about me, we're going to have to get closer. Much, much closer. So let's just see how close we can get. Okay, Yuma? <laughs> okay. It still feels like she's playing with my head. But I guess she's friendly enough. Did you follow a trail of my feminine pheromones all the way here? Uh, nope. I just wanted to talk to you. <sighs> Yuma, you're hopeless. Come on, I just got here. What are you calling me out for now? Listen, okay? You're supposed to say something like, Oh, yes, milady. I knew that scent would lead me to a beautiful maiden. You can't just give a serious answer when it's obviously a joke. That's super rude. Oh, sorry. I'm really not good at small talk. So, when I tell a joke, you shake your head and say, Oh, that Rinna! Then the trombone plays, everyone laughs, and I get to say a catchphrase. I... what? Who laughs? What's a... <laughs> Wait, was that a joke too? Wow, you really are hopeless. Yeah. Sometimes I don't know what I'm going to do with you. You'll never make a good husband like this. Wait, husband? I guess I'm just going to have to educate you. Huh? Your ultimate training begins now. We are going to chat about absolutely nothing. You'll be a master of small talk in no time. I hope you're ready, because I'm a real strict teacher. Okay, just go easy on me, please. She got kind of scary there, but I guess it means she wants to talk to me. So it's probably a good thing. How are you doing? taking it a little too far. Come on, a boy and a girl out on the town having a nice time together. We're practically dating already. I... I don't think that's how it works. I mean, we're not at that level, so... You know, Yuma, some people say going on dates like this is a little thing called fate accompli. A foregone conclusion, right? I... um... I don't know if that really applies here. But if we keep doing this, then it's bound to happen eventually, right? So, Yuma, any plans for our wedding? Something big and showy or small and intimate? Wait, you're moving a little fast, don't you think? Besides, this is our first date. We're not even together or any of that stuff. So you can't just talk about marriage like it's just... Uh... <laughs> Wait, you're messing with me, aren't you? Yuma, you are so red right now. It's the most adorable thing. Are you really taking me seriously? You look so embarrassed. <sighs> She's teasing me again. I want to get back at her, but I can't say anything. I don't know if I'll be able to keep up with her if I just rely on my words. What should I do? Hmm? Rina, you've got something on your shoulder. Huh? What is it? Hold still. I'll get it. Are you okay? Where are you touching? Huh? There was something on your shoulder. I just brushed it off. 
just brushed it off, huh? Then why did I feel something on my neck? Uh, I don't know. Maybe my sleeve might have brushed against you? Sorry, I didn't know it would have this much of an effect on you. Well, the thing is, my neck is one of my weak spots. Kind of. Be more careful next time. There are serious consequences for making a lady squeak in public. Oh, okay, I'll be careful from now on. Oh, I guess I found one of Rinna's weaknesses somehow. But I better not do it again. It's gonna spill out if we don't eat some. It's probably thanks to her charisma. She must have really gotten on the shopkeeper's good side. I wish I could do that. Mmm, <sighs> it's sweet and sour. These raspberries are the best. We don't want any leftovers now, Yuma. You want some? Uh huh? Rina, there are people watching. Oh, if this is all it takes to embarrass you, you're never gonna grow up. Now, say, uh... I... I'm... I'm, I'm so embarrassed. But Rinna is waiting. Ah, screw it. Uh... 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 Huh? Hey, I thought that was mine! <laughs> I only asked if you wanted some. It's about half a year too early for you to be eating out of my hand. I can't believe you. You had me waiting there and everything. I'm only mean to you because I love you. But Lady Kirika's really nice. She might actually do that for you if you asked. Huh? And besides, Lady Kirika wouldn't tease you like I do. You wouldn't have to worry about being treated like my personal toy. I guess, but how did we start talking about Kirika all of a sudden? Well, I want you and Lady Kirika to get along. She's a really sweet person, you know. I want you two to get to know each other. Huh. Well, I appreciate the thought, but I'm with you right now. If anyone, I should be getting to know you. What? I'd prefer to talk about Kirika when she's around to hear it. I'd like to be friends with her too, of course. But you're the one who asked me out on the town. I want to hear about you. Uh, Rina? Are you okay? You seem kind of... out of it. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Is Rina okay? She's turning red. I hope she hasn't caught a cold or anything. lot of herbs. Are they all for tea? There's all kinds of them. Of course! Any good lady knows her tea. I'll be having some with Lady Kirika when we get back to the inn. You can have some too. Sure, I guess. I'll only need a little bit. Thanks. So, it makes sense that you'd pay for it, right? What? Well, how does that make sense if I'm only having a little of it? Hey, men always pay in situations like this. You should really be thanking me, Yuma. I'm giving you a chance to be super chivalrous. I'm not really sure I wanted that chance. Ah oh well, fine. I'll pay for it. Yay! I knew it, Yuma. All you need to do is understand a woman's heart and you'll be a grown man. I think I'm being manipulated. Let's go somewhere else. Am I paying there too? We picked 
picked up a lot today. Thanks for carrying everything, Yuma. I'm glad you're happy. I don't think my wallet can take much more of this, though. Okay, last up, the accessory shop. We're still not done? Aw, don't make that face. Let me make it up to you. You can pick anything you want for me. Hey, Yuma, this one or this one? Which looks better on me? Hairpins? Well, they're not that expensive, so either would be fine. Hey, look at the design, not the price. Which one would you pick for me? Hmm, I think this sunflower one. You're so happy all the time, so I think it suits you. Sunflower it is. Excuse me, can you wrap this up? So much for my spending money. I'm going to have to stay out of the market for a while. Yuma? Wow, that was fast. What's up? Thanks for the hairpin. It means a lot to me. Um, why do you look so serious all of a sudden? It wasn't that expensive. Not enough for anything this dramatic. But you picked it out, so I'll treasure it forever. Rina. <laughs> I promise, I'll take good care of it. talk about or oh well mm hmm let me diagnose you're nervous before the big fight right yeah a little <laughs> oh Yuma can't you relax you're stronger than you give yourself credit for and you'll be in good hands out there and you know I'm gonna be right there with you so don't worry okay Yuma Rena thanks I'm feeling braver already Things around here sure got lonely in a hurry. The city's busier, definitely, but it feels quiet. Sounds weird when I put it like that, though. It's probably because everyone's finally going their separate ways. Agnum's heading off on a journey somewhere far away. Leston and Kirika are leaving for Wellant. Makes me wonder about Rinna. Will she stick with Kirika? Without Rinna around, I don't know if I... Something wrong over here? You're brooding in a corner all by yourself. We saved the world. Can't you let yourself relax? Rinna. What's on your mind, mopey pants? Rinna's here so you can let it all out. I guess I'll just say it. I'm worried about you. About me? Yeah. It's just, Kirika's leaving for Elvenland soon, right? And taking her attendance with her? <sighs> I don't want you to go. Stay with me, Rinna. Here. Please. I love you. I... I don't think I've ever loved anyone more. Yuma... So, I don't want you to go anywhere. Stay on my side f No, wait. Be on the side. <laughs> I, I can't believe I just messed, messed that up. up. I, had I had one, one shot, shot at this. this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, you screwed that one up. You want to try that one again, Yuma? <laughs> the look on your face. Oh, man. I, I'm never going to live this down. Death by embarrassment. It's here at last. <laughs> wow, I guess we got to work on you. I thought you'd gotten all mature and dependable, but it looks like you still need a lesson or two from your friendly neighborhood, Rinna, huh? Rinna, I... Yuma, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here. With you. Rina. Be 
Besides, I should be the one worried about letting you go off on your lonesome. Until you can stretch your wings and leave the nest, I'll take care of you. Prepare yourself for pampering. Rena, thank you. Oh, and Yuma, just letting you know, you can't do better than me. Huh? What do you mean? Because my love for you is ten times greater than your love for me, silly. I'm not budging an inch on this. The person who loves you most in the whole wide world is me. 